Welcome back everybody. This is Steve KM9G and I screwed that all up. Let's start over again. Welcome back everybody. This is Steve KM9G and we've got a quick hot news tip for you guys. On this channel before we built the QCX Mini, I've done some other kits that Hans has. I have some more kits of his that I need to build, but I can't wait for this one to show up. It's gonna go on sale on Monday, October 11th, 2021. And I'm gonna be first at the gate to get one of these things and get it all built up. What it is, is the QDX Digital Transceiver. And this is a pretty sexy little piece of kit right here. What it will do is pure digital. There's no sideband, there's no nothing. It is a computer first. It produces a digital output signal and it sends that digital output signal through the sound device um, and out onto the airwaves. So there's, there's no like mixing products. There's no missing samples. It's there because it was there to begin with and it was there on the way out the antenna. The next thing that this thing has going for it is it works off of nine volts. You can also convert it to walk, work off of 12 volts depending on what your power supply situation is or what your goals are. Puts out five watts on HF. It is four bands, 80, 40, 20, and 10. Those are all built in there. Oh, sorry, not 20 and 10. 80, 40, 30, and 20, I misspoke. Those are all built in. It's not one radio kit per band. It's one radio that has all four bands built in. Next up on the list is that as you've seen with any of the QRP Labs kits in the past, the SMD components are already done from the factory. You only have a couple of through-hole components to build, get it ready to go into the case. The case is fantastic on this thing. These things work out really well. I'm really impressed with how well these things go together. Um, and then get it on the air. One of the things that really attracts me to this thing is it has a terminal interface. So what I mean by that is you can connect up to this like you would to a router or a firewall or an old BBS or something like that and just marvel in all of the ASCII art that is built into this thing. I'll show you some screenshots in a bit, but it includes a frequency alignment tool and it includes a waterfall. And it's a real-time waterfall display of the signals that are coming from WSJTX or from JS8 call. And lastly, this thing has cat control. So this is a digital radio that's ready to go. Plug it into your Raspberry Pi, Pi, Ply. Plug it, plug it into your Raspberry Pi or plug it into your Windows Linux or Mac PC and get it on the air because it's ready to go. So you need power, antenna, this radio, and a computer and you are set. Let's take a look at these pictures real quick. So this is the underside of the board. It runs an ARM Cortex processor and got a nice ground plane on it. This is a quality board. You can tell just by looking at it. This is a picture of the case. The case is an additional $20 which I think is totally worth it because it would cost you more to make a case on your own. It has a USB sound card built in and it has cat control built in. Here's your DC power jack for nine volts or 12 volts. I will probably make mine work off of 12 volts so that it matches my QCX mini and I don't have to worry about interchanging power supplies or anything like that. And then it has a BNC barrel jack for um, your RF your, for your antenna. Another picture of the case. Here is some of the uh, components that you'll have to put on. A couple of diodes, couple of capacitors. You'll have to wind some toroids. This one's a trifiller wind. So there's three wires that are spun together and then run through the toroid. So there's a little bit of a challenge there. It uses the same TCXO module that was used in the QCX mini. And then here is your transistor setup for your final output. Another top view of the case. And that's all for that series of pictures. Then we get into the pictures on the cat control. Um, these are some pretty standard cat control commands. I believe it's Kenwood based, but either way, it's designed to work with WSJTX. So the cat control that's built into the WSJTX, you pick the right transceiver, this thing's gonna be there. You can go into this interface over, you can see he's using putty to go over the local serial port and type the commands in yourself for debugging and figuring out. It does log, so you can look at the logs to see what's going on. Some more cat control stuff. This is the signal analyzer that I was telling you about, the, the beautiful ASCII art display here. 
some of the controls that you have that you can work with. You can specifically align the TCXO frequency. And then these controls down here control how the audio works. Um, but Hans recommends just leaving these the way they are from the factory. Um, this is that built-in ASCII art waterfall that I was telling you about. You can increase the speed of the waterfall and you can increase the width of the waterfall. And this is a real-time display of what's going through the device, through the radio at the time. So there's some tuning going on there. <laughs> He's got a, a picture of VLC media player showing a video capture of the serial output. That's funny. More spectrum work there. And there you have it. Again, it's coming out Monday. What is the price on this? The most important thing. Yeah. So it's 60 bucks to order it. And then it is 20 bucks for the actual case. So include enclosure. So 60 bucks plus 20 bucks. And there we go. Monday, this is going to come up. I am going to do a build vlog on this channel for this radio. It looks from what I'm seeing with this kit, it's probably going to be an hour and a half to two hours worth of build. So hold me to that if I don't make it at the end, but I'm going to do a build vlog on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell for notifications to get notified of that. There's a couple of other videos over on the side here that YouTube and I think that you're going to like. Check out one of those and thanks for being awesome.